if we put everything into the commoditization of the sales process, we're losing the human element. And I think by doing that, we're, we're missing out on a really, really integral part of selling, which is people. Hello, I'm here with Kian McLaughlin again. Welcome back, Kian. Thanks, John. Nice to be here. Kian, you and I have both expressed concerns about automation of the sales process and the impact that might have on sales. I'd like you to elaborate on that a little bit. Sure. Um, so I think I can understand why there's so much focus on sales automation. Um, if you're a large organization, you've got lots of salespeople, you want to have a consistent sales process. And I think that that's fine and that makes sense. But what seems to be happening nowadays is there's there's too much emphasis on sales automation, you know, email campaign automation, marketing automation. And really what that does is it has a negative impact on the first impression you make with your customer. It does sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah and, and particularly uh, less experienced and less successful salespeople tend to want to follow the process religiously and a little bit forget about the customer a little bit. Is that your findings? It, it is. I, I think... Not so much even that they're forgetting about the customer, it's that what they've done is they've reduced the customer to a line item on a spreadsheet or an opportunity in the sales forecast, as distinct from recognizing that you know it's it's an individual or, or a group of individuals that they're selling to. And, and what that does is it divorces the level of sort of empathy and interpersonal skills that are actually required, certainly in the B2B world, to, to make that connection with your customer and ultimately to move the conversation forward to a point where it might turn into um, a sale. So to some extent you're saying you, you, you lose that realness of being a real person talking to a real person you, and you sometimes it can affect you, the transparency you have in discussions as well. Yeah, I mean it's a cliche almost in the sales world to say people do business with people, but they do and, and ideally they do business with people that they like and they trust. Um, I had a meeting yesterday with uh, a sales executive, probably a senior sales executive, I'd say, in a large tech company, and he made a really interesting point. So he said that he sits down with his sales team and they have to jump through a whole lot of hoops uh, in their CRM in order to move a, a sale or an opportunity from stage F to E, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. But sometimes they'll actually do that. They'll move it through all the stages and they'll still lose the business and they can't understand why because they've ticked every box in CRM. But that's not how deals are done, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, yes, you, you have to know where you're up to in the sales process, but probably just important in the buyer process and understanding where the buyer's at and being real with the buyer. Absolutely. I think, you, you know, we've got all of these different sales methodologies. You know, we've got Spin and we've got Challenger and we've got all the... And, and they all have, a, a you know, a very useful basis in putting a structure together but we have to realize that they're a means to an end they're not the end in itself and if we if we put everything into the commoditization of the sales process we're losing the human element and i think by doing that we're we're missing out on a really really integral part of selling which is people so so to bottom line then the key message you you're truly trying to bring across as i understand it to sales leaders and sales people is Okay, you do need to automate, but you've got to be very careful not to lose that human feel to be person to person and, and relate well with the person you're working with, and that'll be different from person to person to person. Absolutely. This, this concept of almost the, the McDonald'sization of the sales process, in the B2B world, um, there's a commoditization happening at the bottom end of the market anyway. So a lot of the tasks that we used to do are being commoditized, and that's fine. Put those to one side and then focus on, the, on the, the human qualities that we bring, the credibility, the authority that we bring to the table. That's what's going to help you to establish a rapport and ultimately to get the job done. I think it's a great message. I think it's, uh, the audience will learn a lot from that, and I really appreciate the time and your thought uh, and your experience you bring to the table. It's a pleasure, John. Thanks for having me.